Today we're going to be going over stance with a carbine. Now I have an AR out here for demonstration purposes, but basically the same fundamentals are going to apply if you're using an uh, a AK, a Tavor, etc. First off, we'll go over what used to be the way it was. Used to be we had the old A1, A2 buttstocks out there. We'd blade our stance and uh, take aim, hand not further out, and uh, the shooting shoulder all the way back. Now, the good thing about that is it's a very stable position. You can lock your underarm into your body and really lean into it and get some sort of stability. The downside of that is if you have to move, it's a very ineffective position to move from. So what most folks teach nowadays um, for defensive type shooting, because in defensive shooting you may have to move, is that they teach a more squared up stance. So what you want to do is face your target or your threat, wherever you're going to be uh, orienting your body. And you want, for those of you guys that play sports, volleyball, basketball, whatever, baseball, whatever the case may be, it's a similar stance to your defensive stance. So you're going to have your feet slightly shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more, toes orientated towards the target oriented towards the target I should say um, and you're gonna have a slight bend in your knees you're gonna lean back lean forward I should say with your butt back shoulders forward and uh, have your hand a little bit further out than the old days and uh, that's how you're gonna present now why do we do that there's a couple reasons one this is a very athletic stance so that way if you have to move you can and you can move efficiently and quickly so no matter which way you have to move if you have to move back you can move back if you have to move forward, you can move forward. Laterally, the same thing. Now, one thing you want to think of just to kind of gauge yourself, am I doing this right? If you're in your stance and you wouldn't throw a punch from it, so if you didn't have your rifle and you were like this, which is essentially the stance that I'm in, if you, felt, if you would feel comfortable throwing a punch from that position, you're probably in a good stance. If you're like this and you're kind of lean back, would you throw a punch like this? I wouldn't. Um, so that's kind of a good gauge of how your stance should be. Now, another advantage of it is that if you're wearing body armor, your armor is oriented towards the threat as well. So two advantages there. The downside of it is you are slightly less stable. If you're taking a precision shot, number one, you probably shouldn't be standing. But if you had to for whatever reason, a bladed stance, old school stance, is probably a little bit more stable. That's why you still see shooters in the Olympics using it. But um, most folks aren't going to do that. Most folks have their ARs, their carbines, their AKs, their Tavors, their Steyr Augs, whatever. Most folks own those weapons as defensive tools. So that's, base, that's the basics of stance. Um, there are a little bit more advanced things you can do, like I said, with movement. But the starting position is pretty much all the same. If you guys have any questions about this, anything else I talk about here on the channel, feel free to post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see y'all in the next video.